Hi everyone, welcome back to our Drupal tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to learn how to render a custom form in a block and display that block in a particular region in a Drupal. Custom forms are a powerful tool for collecting users input and being able to display them whenever you want to gives a lot of flexibility in how you design your Drupal site. While developing the websites in a Drupal, we got the requirements like as we want to display this form or any particular form in a particular region. So right now I have this form and this form is accessible on this URL because I have mentioned this URL in my .routing.yml file. So this form is accessible on this URL. But in many scenarios like I mentioned earlier, we need to display this form or place this form in another regions. So for that we need to first convert this form into the block and after that we can place that block in any particular region. So for this demo purpose I have already created one form. That form contains the three fields first name, last name and address. Now I want to display this form in any another region or, or a particular page. So for that we need to render this form into the block and after that we can place that block in any region. For that first we need to create the custom block and that block we will render this form. So to create the block we need to go to our module. My module name is custom underscore user underscore info inside the src directory so create the plugin directory and inside the plugin again create the block directory so before that i will show you the my form so this is the form which contains the three fields first name last name address and submit button and in the validation i have checked the validation as well and in the submit i have displayed this form data in the message so in this demo we will create the block by two ways one is using the dependency injection and another is normal way so first we will create the block using the dependency injection so for that first create the file name we will create the file name as a custom form block.php and after that we need to write the code so for this demo purpose i have already written this code and uploaded this code into the my github repo so you can refer this code i will share this git repo link in the description so go to the custom user info module inside the src folder again go to the plugin slash blog directory from that go to the custom form blog.php copy this code and I will explain this and paste it in file first line is the namespace in the namespace we have given the path of our file so this file is placed inside the this custom model custom user info plugin and the block directory after that i have included these classes first is the drupal core block block base second is the form builder next is the container factory plugin interface and after that is the symphony component it is used for the dependency injection in the annotations we need to mention the id is custom form block and admin level will be the custom form block after that i have created the custom form block class which extends the block base and it implements the container factory plugin interface next is the declare the protective variable for the form builder and in the constructor pass this argument first is the array configuration next is the plugin id after that the plugin definition and form builders interface 
after that the parent colon colon and the constructor and pass this three parameters and next step is assign this form builder object to our protected variable in the create static function call the our form builder service in the public build function render the our form using the form builder so here we need to pass the path of our form which we have mentioned here in the routing drupal custom user info this is the model name form and the custom form example form and return this form save the file and clear the cache so i will clear the cache using the drush command drush cr the cache is cleared successfully now go to the backend of your website go to the structure and the block layout now we will place this block in the sidebar region so for that click on this place block and we want to place this custom form block for that click on place block button and in the pages we will place this block only on the front page of the website so we will mention the front for the front page like mention here and click on the save block again scroll down and the save blocks now go to the front page of website so we will copy this url and in the new tab we will paste here in the site region here you can see our form is placed in the sidebar region now we will submit this form and add the first name last name and the address and click on the submit button so it should show this data in the message so here we are getting the submitted data in the message this is the one way to render the custom form in a block using the dependency injection now i will show you the another way without using the dependency injection so for that again in the block folder we will create the new file place form block dot php i will copy the same code from this our existing file and we will remove the dependency injection code so we will keep the namespace as it is and we will remove these extra classes we will change the id of our block will be place form underscore block and label will be the place form block save this and change the class name to it will be same as our file name place form block remove this class which we have implemented again we need to remove the all these things so we'll keep the just this one method public function build function in the build function we need to change it to the drupal and call the form builder function form builder and save the file again clear the cache so in this file we are creating the block without using the dependency injection so we have removed those extra code which we have used for the dependency injection the cache is clear now again go to the structure and the block layout so we will place that block on this url slash demo article on the demo article page you can see in the sidebar region there is no form so we will place the our custom form which we have created without dependency injection go to the our block layout page and in the sidebar region or we will place this block in the content region 
So click on place block. Search for the our block. So our block name is place form block, which we have mentioned here. Place form block. Click on place block and we'll copy this URL. In the pages, mention the URL on which URL you want to place this block and click on the save block button. Same way, click on save blocks button on the block layout page and now refresh this demo article page it should show the uh, form on this page so here you can see the form is placed inside the content region i will push this code as well on this git repo so that you can refer this code so in this way we have seen how to render the custom form in a blocks and place those forms in a regions using the both way one is the using dependency injection and another is using the normal way of the drupal so that's it from this video if you found this tutorial helpful be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drupal tips and tricks don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for the future tutorials thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial